Hey guys, what's up? It is Aheckman2 here, and welcome back to another MX vs. ATV Reflex Custom Track Review. Today we're going to be taking a look at uh, a track by Philip, um, Philip something something, <laughs> and um, yeah, uh, the name of it, is, well, I don't remember the name, I'm, I apologize, but the name will be in the video title, so it's not really that necessary, but it's a very fun track, a uh, nice long motocross track, and uh, so yeah. Probably won't do all five laps, but I'm just so accustomed to putting five laps on that I did. So, anyway, we've got a start here. Let's go ahead and got a nice right hander here. And then into uh, this track is kind of rough, which is really nice, especially since it's a, a motocross track. We got a little uphill triple there that's actually not that hard to hit. I just kind of missed it there. And then got a downhill double into this wall, which is actually quite fun. You got to slow up for it which is really nice to have and then you've got like a triple up there and double on the if you go on the outside and that routes get steep <laughs> and I actually haven't played on this track very much but it, I do remember it being a lot of fun so you have got like a double double there and then a little double here and I really like the inside and outside routes lots of options with this track um, the scenery isn't the best but it still is really nice simple and easy I think it's green hills um, it's the name of it. Um, apologize if I'm wrong, but I think that's what it is. And then this rhythm is actually pretty cool. You can go ahead and triple from this, but you got to do a bit of a whip glitch there. And then more insides than outsides, like a tabletop thingy maduhiki there. And then tabletop thing there. And then we got uh, double into the corner here with plenty of ruts to choose from here. And then more doubles. I really like this track. It has some nice flow to it if you can get going. Um, and then this jumps is big, just air it out, and then it's like some rollers into the corner here. Very fun track as I hit a wall. <laughs> and then this corner right here is like a little S section. And the fastest line is actually kind of a cheaty line. You can just cut right through like this. Um, but next lap, I'll actually take some actual lines here. So you've got an inside and an outside here. Outside you just triple all the way over. Inside you just do a double. Another double into the sand section. Very fun sand section here as well. Rollers, all the all that jazz. I'm doing a pretty terrible job right now, but just giving you guys a chance to look over everything. Like a sand wall here, and then you can go all the way over, even though I completely failed and wadded myself. So then you uh, have this rhythm you can do double triple single or just triple triple um, probably triple triple is probably the fastest way now I've never been very good at motocross tracks so um, definitely a lot better at doing supercross track reviews than these but here's the finish line nice big jump you can see the start lines right there so now we're back onto the tr we're on the track now uh, from I mean we've already been through here so go ahead and hit this try to hit that triple I've never actually had a problem with hitting it like that before. And hit that double. And then over the wall. And like a double single in here. I know fast laps are down in like the low two minutes. Which is pretty cool. And oh. Got a little bit of a reflex there. Didn't hit the rut like I was supposed to. Alright so I'm actually going to try to not suck this time around. Hit this inside. That inside right is awesome if you can hit it right. I still didn't hit it quite right, but I hit it better than I did the previous lap. Mess that right up again, unfortunately. You can see you can take this outside here and like quad single into the corner. Oh, and we have a nice wreck there. <laughs> and like a bit of hill climb. But basically the story is, is I think this track is really well done and um, scaling is really nice I know it's not a replica but it, scaling still is important on all tracks and I really like the objects and I like the simplicity of it all and how it's really just nice simple and also a lot of fun very fun track as well so make sure to go check it out over on reflex central to make sure and give the feedback that Philip deserves so let's go ahead and, and try this inside even though I'm squirrely I'm getting all over the place here Still messed it up, um, but the definitely definitely the fastest way is to like to do the cheaty way through there, and it seems like that with all S sections, there's always like a cheaty way to get through it. 
unfortunately, because S sections could be really fun, but there's always someone who's going to find a cheaty line through it. And I'm probably one of the biggest culprits for that as well. So let's actually not wad ourselves this time. I miss the inside rut because we're pros like that. And then hit uh, triple triple this time. And I like how he incorporates some rhythms into this as well. Really nice rhythms along with it. And I'm getting messaged. <laughs> so yeah, anyway, let's keep this. Oh, that's a tough block. Messing up the sections here. Oh, that's a pole. <laughs> All right. So you can see, not a very good lap time at all. Alright, so let's go ahead and do a first person camera view of the track now. And hit this rut, or at least try to. Still failed at it. I'm not very good at first person, and not very good at national tracks. So this is just a combination of badness right here. Although I have been practicing for thir or first person G sports. And I'm getting a little bit better with them, but still not very good. See, if I were been better, I would have brought myself back all the way. Oh, got reset there. Oh, one thing I just noticed. Look at that sky right there. There's a seam there. Right down the middle, but not really that easy to notice. That's the first time I've noticed it. There we go. Nice inside rut there. Oh. Oh geez, Louise, all over the place. All right, try to hit this triple here. Not quite. Oh, that's a banner something. <laughs> I have to focus more when I do these first person cameras, even though I still suck at them. But I have to focus more, so I, I'm trying really hard. I actually probably try harder in first person than I do in um, third person. So oh, here we go, up this big jump here. Nice big fat whip there. Alright. Hit this outside. I really like the way that outside just carries you around it. Doesn't really set you up the best for this, but it's still I still like it. So let's go ahead and grab this inside line or middle line there. And grab that inside or at least attempt to. And uh, it's actually like a crossover section right there because we just went under where the finish line jump is, so very interesting cross section even though that would never be legal in real life as we're gonna go over here um, because there's no like tunnel or nothing be way too much of a risk of death <laughs> there's a seam a little bit easier to see there might be more than one seam actually and I'm talking about seams in the sky in the way that the sky looks so oh gosh didn't get a very good run for it that time <laughs> And I think I have finally figured out why I wasn't getting good solid 60 FPS videos. Um, right now it's fluctuating between 56 and 60, but not really all that noticed, noticeable. And I'm getting invited. I feel popular. <laughs> so yeah, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the review. Please leave a like if you did enjoy. And I will catch you guys in the next video.